When people think of Egypt, the country's ancient civilization springs to mind with its pyramids, pharaohs, and splendor. But over the centuries, the same place where hieroglyphics were invented also saw the development of another form of writing, calligraphy. The art is not limited to ink and paper, it's also found on ceramics, monuments, and clothing. Throughout the month of January, Cairo is hosting the International Festival of Arabic Calligraphy. When I walk in the streets, I see inscriptions dating to the Ottoman Empire. From the Mameluk era, there were lots of trades using calligraphy. We produced the Koran here. There were a lot of activities, paintings, even street signs. The ones you see around you in the streets, they feature calligraphy. The ancient mosques dotting the city, decorated with Quranic verses and complex calligraphy, have been witness to the evolution of Arabic script. Kufic is the oldest, most famous style. Geometric Kufic became especially popular as many Qurans were printed in it. In the Islamic tradition, human representations aren't allowed in mosques, which gave room to calligraphy. Calligraphers who decorated the mosques with Quranic verses obtained a certain prestige. Today, Dr. Shireen El Kabani is working on a digital library of Egyptian calligraphy. We're trying, through our project for a digital library of inscription and calligraphy, to create a simple idea about Arabic calligraphy. The goal is to preserve this great heritage, which a lot of people, especially in Europe, don't even know about. They think we might only have the civilization of the pharaohs, but in fact, no, our Islamic civilization is very diverse. We have a wide variety of Arabic calligraphy with artistic decorations and a simple style. The digital library project will list all monuments in Egypt that bear inscriptions in Islamic letters, whether they're in Arabic, Farsi or Turkish, making them accessible to anyone interested in calligraphy.